Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our virtual classroom. Today, we're going to be going over just the assignment, uh, which is found on today for Schoology, which is Friday. Um, so let's go ahead and begin. Uh, and before we begin, actually, every single one of these problems has to do with conversions. Conversions, or rather, we're going to be using conversions, converting from one unit to another to be able to solve the problem. All right, and a conversion is simply changing from one unit to another. For example, maybe like meters to kilometers or cups to gallons or uh, degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so from one unit of measure to another unit of measure. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and look at this first one right here. So John rode two kilometers on his bike. His sister Sally rode 3000 meters on her bike. The question is who rode the furthest and how much further did did they ride? Did they ride? Sorry. And uh, they want the answer in kilometers. Okay. Now, if you were paying attention, you will notice that there's something odd here. Uh, John's distance is given to me in kilometers, whereas Sally's is given to me in meters. If you notice, they have different units. One is in kilometers, one is in meters. And ladies and gentlemen, whenever you have different units, you cannot do anything with them together. You cannot add them together. You cannot multiply, subtract them, divide them. That is not, it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. You have to have the same units, which is why we are going to be converting. Now, before we can do this problem at all, we have to change everything to, in this case, kilometers. If it didn't tell me, uh, then I would just have to use the same units. In this case, they want everything in kilometers. So whatever is not in kilometers, like the 3,000 meters, I'm going to change that to kilometers. How am I going to do that? Well, what are the two units that I'm using? Let's begin with that. Well, we're using kilometers and we're using meters. Notice how I've made a fraction in words. In essence, I'm asking myself, what are the two things that I am comparing? And I'm going to make that into a ratio. So I'm using kilometers and meters. And so I've made that into a ratio, kilometers and meters. Uh, before I even look at the problem, let me ask myself, what is the relationship between meters and kilometers? Uh, I, I know that kilometers are bigger. In fact, the, the prefix kilo, like kilometer, means a thousand. So a kilometer is a thousand meters. That's one way to do it. Or I have provided a, mod, a math chart for each of you. If you go into uh, OneNote, and if you go up to the welcome page at the very top where it says welcome, you will notice that there is a math chart with uh, formulas, if you scroll the way down, notice that here it says that a kilometer is a thousand meters. Please be using that for this assignment. So what I'm gonna write down is that one kilometer, because that's the bigger one, so one kilometer is a thousand meters. Notice how I have not done anything with the numbers inside the problem. All I know is that I'm dealing with kilometers and meters, and I know that one kilometer is a thousand meters. Okay, well, the question is, now, I want to change 3,000 meters to uh, kilometers. So 3,000 meters will go on the denominator in this case because I put meters in the denominator. I want to change 3,000 meters to a certain number of kilometers. OK? Does this look familiar, ladies and gentlemen? It should. This is the exact same pattern that we've been using for proportions. In fact, this is a proportion except that I'm using this to go from one unit to another. So again, first things first, I identify the two units that I'm using, meters and kilometers. Secondly, I, I wrote down the relationship between meters and kilometers, which you can either Google or look at your math chart. And finally, now I saw, okay, I need to change 3000 meters. So I put meters where they belong and I wanna see, okay, how many kilometers that's going to be. Let's go ahead and solve this now. Two ways of doing this, you can either ask yourself a thousand times what is 3,000. So a thousand times three is 3,000, meaning I have to multiply one times three, and that would give me three. In other words, 3,000 meters is three kilometers. Now, you can also cross multiply, and really either method works well. I can make an equation. I would do a thousand x on one side. So 1,000 times x is 1,000 x, and 3,000 times one on the other, which is just 3,000. So I just cross multiplied. My last step is to divide by the number next to the letter. Here's the letter. So I'm going to divide by a thousand. And whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. Ladies and gentlemen, 
x is equal to three. Or in other words, 3,000 meters is the same thing as three kilometers. Is that the answer? No, that is not the answer. The only thing I've done is that I now know that 3,000 meters is the same thing as three kilometers, and now I can do the problem. Okay, so John rode two kilometers. His sister Sally rode three kilometers. Who wrote the furthest? Obviously, it was Sally. So I'm going to type in Sally with capital S. By how much? Well, three minus two is one by one kilometer. Just like that. Easy enough, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we're gonna follow the same pattern for each of these problems. So feel free to rewind to this point at any point. We're first gonna ride uh, inwards or we're gonna make a fraction with the two units that we're using. Then we're gonna write the ratio, the relationship between those two units, which we're gonna get from a math chart. And then you put down the unit where it belongs that you're gonna to change to the other unit. And that's how you do these problems. Let's try another one. Jessica is measuring two line segments. The first line segment is 30 centimeters long. The second line segment is 500 millimeters long. How long are the two line segments together? All right, well, we know that the first segment, the first line segment is, uh, first line segment is 30 centimeters. The second line segment is 500 millimeters. Notice how we have different units, centimeters and millimeters. And the question is how long are these two together and we want the answer in centimeters. So I have one line segment, I have another one, we're putting them together. What operation is that? We are obviously adding, we're adding these two together. Uh, and we want everything in centimeters, meaning that I have to change this 500 millimeters into centimeters. Let's begin by writing down our units, centimeters and millimeters. Okay, now what is the relationship between centimeters and millimeters? Uh, if I look at my math chart, I can see that uh, you actually have, well, centimeters are larger. So one centimeter is the same thing as 10 millimeters. One centimeter is 10 millimeters. You can Google that how many millimeters in a centimeter. Make sure that uh, you realize which is the bigger one. So a centimeter is bigger. So that's the bigger one of millimeters. And now, we can look at our problem. If I want to have everything in centimeters, I need to change this 500 into uh, millimeters. Okay, so I mean, into centimeters. So 500 millimeters will give me how many centimeters? All right, two ways of doing it. 10 times what is 500? I think it's 10 times 50, meaning that one times 50 is 50, or we can say that 500 millimeters is the same thing as 50 centimeters. That's not the answer, that's just the conversion. You can also cross do it by cross multiplication. 10 times X is 10 X. 500 times one is 500. Divide both sides by the number next to the letter, which is 10. And whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. So X will equal to 500 divided by 10, which again is 50. Meaning that the first line segment is 30 centimeters. The second is 50, guys, 30 plus 50 is 80. 80 centimeters long, 80 centimeters long. Again, notice how we're doing the same pattern for each one of these problems. Let me do one more. And um, let me do an easy one, leave the hard ones for you. I'm just kidding. Uh, let's do, okay, let's do number eight. We just chose a random one. Okay, uh, 30 gram serving of a certain breakfast cereal has five tenths grams or half a gram of salt. How much salt, how much salt would that be in milligrams? Okay, so notice that we don't, this is not important. 30 gram serving, it's just asking, okay, 30 gram serving of a certain cereal has 0.5 grams of salt. We wanna change 0.5 grams of salt into milligrams. 0.5 grams of salt into milligrams. Okay, so we're dealing with grams into milligrams. You can look at the chart or realize that milli, the prefix milli means out of a thousand. So uh, that means that one gram is the same thing as a thousand milligrams. So if we have 0.5 grams, how many milligrams would that be? 
again, I am dealing with grams and milligrams. Uh, I know that the relationship between grams and milligrams is that one gram is 1,000 milligrams. We have 0 0.5 grams, and we want to change that to milligrams. All right, let's cross multiply. 0 0.5 times 1,000, that is 500, is equal to x times 1, which is just 1x. We divide by the number next to the variable, which is just 1. I know I'm being a little bit redundant. And 500 divided by 1 is equal to 500, meaning that x is equal to 500 or 0.5 grams is the same thing as 500 milligrams. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this was helpful. I hope you're realizing that this is the same method that we've been using before. We're writing our fraction in words. What are the two units that I'm dealing with? What is the ratio between those two units, which I get from my chart or from Google? And then finally, what is the unit that I have? And then we cross multiply and divide to find the unit that I'm looking for or uh, use scale factors. Again, I hope that this was helpful to you. And uh, with that in mind, I will see you next time.